More on this story, let's bring in Grant Rumley, a research analyst specializing in Palestinian politics at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Mr. Rumley, thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. You know, if Israel's goal with this wider offensive now is to wipe out Hamas, can they achieve that? Because some might say it's only a matter of time uh, before Hamas can regroup and get more arms uh, back into the areas where they need them. Right. Well, it's it, for, for us, it's clear that Israel's main objectives right now are to eradicate the tunnels and to wipe out a lot of the infrastructure that Hamas has for retaliations. One of the concerns on the Israeli side of things is if this ground incursion lasts longer, uh, Hamas in the past has laid booby traps and uh, defensive measures that have cost Israeli lives. We've seen one Israeli soldier uh, killed in action last night. Uh, Israel has claimed they've uh, they've killed at least 13 Hamas operatives. So there is there is a concern that Hamas, though caught caught off guard last night, could retaliate in possibly more deadly ways if this ground incursion lasts longer. And how might they do that? Well, they have the ability to construct and manufacture some of their rockets indigenously in Gaza. They have weapons facilities that are deep underground, that are buried in tunnels, underneath buildings. Uh, this is all a very intricate network of, of routes and avenues with which they can retaliate against Israel. So how does this, you know, see a solution? And many, I'll, I'll make the point, are saying that what really concerns Israel is, is not just the rocket fire coming from Hamas militants, but the fact that Hamas is being uh, included as part of the Palestinian unity government. Is there uh, any way to change that scenario? Is that, in fact, what Israel desires? Well, during the is Israeli operation in the West Bank and search for the, uh, the bodies of the three Israeli teenagers, there was, there was enough to suggest that Israel was looking to eradicate Hamas in the West Bank and possibly destabilize the unity government. The unity government, as we see it, as the Palestinians claim, is a technocratic government, but it has members on there that are affiliated with Hamas. Now, President Mahmoud Abbas of the Palestinian Authority is in Turkey today, and he will be in Doha tomorrow to meet with Khaled Michel. The, uh, the political leader of Hamas. Now, Michelle has maintained that the reconciliation is still, in is still intact, but many, including myself, are skeptical that this lasts outside the operation. All right, Grant Rumley with the Foundation for Defense of Democracies joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me.